you ever wanted to see what human trash looks like, look no further than this picture right here. This is a picture of Ruby Frankie, Ruby Frank, uh, of eight passengers arrested on suspicion of child abuse, neglect. I, I don't even know what all of her content was, but like uh, I th she has six kids. I think she did like family vlogging style stuff, but then also she had a channel where she would give like parenting advice. And oh, no. this is this is just a real, uh, this is, Mary's been asking me to make a video about this for like a week now, and I just have not wanted to do it because I don't want to learn more about this person. But I don't blame I'm going you. to go through it. I don't like, like even if I'm watching movies, like, children suffering I, I hate it like it bothers me and this is like something straight out of a horror movie what is it what has happened so i got a, i got a news thing pulled up here to kind of keep my thoughts in order well we're going to go through that so a former family vlogger who once boasted a 2.5 million strong following has been charged with six felony counts of ag aggravated child abuse after police say her malnourished children escaped out of a window so they jumped out of a window and went and got help you know i think you've, you've probably heard a story like this in the past where someone's like escape like serial killers and stuff it's yeah yeah this is insane uh, dude this is yeah, it's, horrendous it's really really bad so uh for me and mary talking what i know about it it's people have been trying to get child protective services to intervene with this channel for a very long time like they, they noticed odd things in the background like uh there was a incident when one of the kids pranked another one like oh we're gonna go to you know get your stuff together we're going to disneyland or something like that and you know it, it was fake they took his bedroom away wouldn't let him sleep in the bedrooms like sleeping all over the house on couches on beanbags and stuff like that uh one kid forgot to make their own lunch to bring to school and they're like young kids and she was like it's not my responsibility it's their responsibility to make their own lunch just like things really? like that that make you go that's weird yeah right and they were out there giving like give me that giving advice so and then she, got, she has an older, I think it's a daughter, an older kid who's also been trying to, like, get help. People have been trying to get help for, I think it's been two years. Child Protective Services did show up one time, and they didn't find enough evidence to pursue anything. And that was, again, that was a couple of years. I'm pretty sure that was two years ago, I believe, like, when it, like, first started, like, really... Everyone was like, hey, hey, you know, we're even waving the red flag. You think they were just prepared for that, you think, maybe? Or from like what I just know from what the Internet can tell me is that maybe it wasn't to the extent it is now. But let me tell you what happened here. Ah, oh, somebody's read. God, she makes me so mad. I hate her. <clears throat> Utah, Utah woman Ruby Frankie, formerly the face of now defunct YouTube channel 8, channel's gone, uh, was arrested in the southern Utah city of Ivan's. She was taken into custody at the home of Jody Hildebrandt, who alongside Miss Frankie Run or Miss Frank, I don't know if it's Frankie or Frank, it's called Frank, runs counseling business on the YouTube channel called Connie Zion's Classroom. It's gone also. YouTube's deleted it. One of Frankie's children climbed out of a window of Miss Hildebrandt's residence and ran to a neighbor's house and asked for food and water, according to an affidavit filed by the Santa Clara Ivan's Public Safety Department. And they, they called the cops. Uh, the calling party stated the juvenile appeared to be eman em emaciated, excuse me, more like you can see the ribs and everything, and malnourished, uh, with open wounds around extremities that aren't press released. The condition of the juvenile were so severe that they were seen by Santa Clara uh, EMS and transported to the local area hospital. The neighbor saw duct tape on the child's ankles, wrists, and called local law enforcement. They were uh, duct taped? Yeah. Yeah, they were duct taped, had wounds, like they... The, the whole, like, the dispatch calls, the dispatch calls have been leaked. You can, like, listen to, like, what the cops are saying and everything. And, uh, and yeah, they're, they're like, yeah, this, we need medical. This is, this, this is not, this is bad. The boy's taken to the hospital where he was put on medical hold due to his deep lacerations from being tied up with rope and his malnourishment. Another child was later found malnourished in Hildebrandt's house and was also taken to the hospital. I believe there was four kids total that they got. Wow. Uh, it's one of those situations where the cops showed up like with guns, you know, and the, the child protective stuff happens and the cops show up with guns, you know, something serious is going on. Yeah. Um, and they weren't even in like their house. They were in the other lady's house uh, that they have like a collaboration channel with. And this other lady was like a what, what, what did it say she was? They just had another channel together and they, they give like advice. Oh, OK. Yeah. Jeez. So they got, they've gone to jail without bail. Thank God. And the thing about it uh, that was interesting to me also is that uh, they're a Mormon family. She has three sisters, and all of them also have YouTube channels where they do a similar thing. You got, um, oh, uh, no. the, I believe it's the Daru Crew Vlogs. They got that whole family thing going here. You got uh, Bonnie, I think, a Holin. She, she was listed on the 
Um, the the other one I was reading, the one of the sisters, and then Ellie and Jared, they all got their whole family thing going on, and they all got together and they made a statement. Okay. The statement reads, For the last three years, we have kept quiet on the subject of our sister Ruby Frank for the sake of her children. Behind the public scene, we have done everything we could to try to make sure the kids were safe. We wouldn't feel right about moving forward with the regular content without addressing the most recent events. Once we do, we will not be commenting on it further. Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Jody was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are now safe, which is the number one priority. I don't know, man. I mean, just my opinion is it looks like the number one priority of this whole family is just making content out of their families, yeah. you know? Keeping but, it uh, going. Okay. Many of their fans right. aren't having it. <laughs> the, the post was real comments saying the family should have done more. The comments on that post are hidden, mm. but uh, right here it says there's 6,000 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to me, whatever the situation is, there's no excuse for this. Like absolutely none. zero excuse. And so you maybe ask me, where the, where's their dad? I couldn't find a whole lot of information about whether or not they're still together, whether he was really around, uh, but he did make a statement through his lawyer stating that he wants to fight to keep his family together and he wants to get custody of the kids. Was he a part of these, the YouTube stuff? Uh, he, 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 there's pictures of him like being with them and everything like, you know, so like mm. how, how could he mm. not know unless like he just never got to be around you know right like they have a total of six like six kids the two i think the two oldest are already gone but like they i mean like moved away and gotten out and like i said like the oldest sister was even like hey uh there's like a, there's a whole reddit that I, I believed it she was she was asking for help for people to go through all the content and help her find things because there's so much of it right she couldn't do it by herself and they, wow. there's like a whole Reddit that's got all these links to like questionable yes. things that happened on the, of course the, the channel has gone now, but that's yeah. so sad, bro. Yeah. The fact that she was able to treat these kids like this for so long, you, you know, then, I mean, turning around and giving things. people advice of how to like right. raise their kids all because she has the look, you know what I'm saying? Like she's got that look. You don't ex suspect anything, man. And right. I just. There's good and bad people of every shape and color and shade. And mm. I, I I just hope that for, for the kids sake, man, like, man, we got to be like vigilant. I don't know, man. Like, just just pay attention sometimes. Like, if you watch content like this, I, I don't know, man. Be aware. I'm, I'm kind of sickened just by the the whole thing. And, and I've made my, my, my opinion, <laughs> of course, I've made it. You know, we, we tried, we did the family vlog thing for a little bit. And after doing it, I don't like it. And I'm not going to ever do it again. Uh, just because like your day-to-day -day life kind of starts becoming your content. And then like. You're monetizing you, like, I, your kids. and Yeah. You, you, the family vlog channels always have like a billion kids. And uh, right. it's a slippery slope. The thing also is, is that they go through and edit it or have it edited. And they choose what to show you. Right. And so if yeah. they're choosing to show you these things that are questionable, then what is happening off camera, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, okay, I'll continue reading through this because it talks about some of the history as well. Uh, Ruth Frank rose to prominence in 2015 with eight passenger YouTube channel featuring her, Mr. Frank, along with their six children. So he was part of it. But the channel was removed from YouTube for unknown reasons earlier this year. So the channel was already gone before any of this happened. That just, you know, putting pieces together with no evidence and just assuming things that once they lost their value, they became more mistreated because you would see them in some videos and they look like they're okay. Right. Uh, and then like they get to the point to where they have like cuts and look like they're starving, you know? Yeah. So she had, pre she had previously faced backlash for videos in which she detailed sending her eldest son to wilderness camp for troubled teens. Like the, I guess like the ranch, you know, like the, the Dr. Phil thing, which mm. ha you know, we know now that those places are not, good places like the like abuse happens at those places yeah. not all of them of course i don't like get your lawyers after me but you know a lot uh, there's a lot of information about those places that have come out and they're not good places unless you do your research and you find a good one another controversial video she revealed she refused to bring her then six-year-old daughter i was telling you about this uh the six-year-old daughter lunch when the child forgot to pack food and threatened to throw away children's prized possessions so her six-year-old daughter didn't make her own lunch. And she's like, I'm not feeding, you know, I'm not bringing you food. Because the school, I'm sure, called her, you know, was like, hey, she doesn't have any food. Wow. And she's like, that's her responsibility. Like, my daughter is six. She she wow. forgets, like, to put her shoes on sometimes, right? It's like. Yeah. Yeah, she's just a little kid. Um, 
Yeah, that's messed up. Imagine saying something like, you know what? If I got to come up and bring you food, I'm throwing away your your favorite toy or you know what I mean? Like, dude, that is yeah. crazy, man. The family's oldest daughter, Sherry, now 20, took to, took to social media following the rest and posted a video of the police officer on the scene, captioned, finally, and this is right here. She's putting it there. They're getting her. Guy's got the, first, he's got the big gun out, Jeez. wishing she would run. But yeah, filming it, finally. In a later post, she wrote, me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this and so glad they finally decided to step up. Which is another thing of, you know, that we do a lot of videos on to catch a predator and it just seems things involving kids. I don't know. There's a severe lack of urgency. Like the yeah. cops will get there. The cop, you know, the cops, they got their own families and things like that. So they, they of course, want to get in there and get these guys. But it's like this. I, I, maybe there's just so much red tape that the other like organizations that are supposed to be taking care of this stuff have to jump through that they don't. Oh, and I'm I don't sure know. there is. And I'm sure there is like, yeah. <laughs> You don't know the, the state of the person saying it and, and their reasons for saying it, right? Uh, I mean, I've heard crazy things where people have just called CPS on good people who do take care of their kids mm. just yeah. to be that person. Yeah. And that's awful. Yeah. It just just mm -hmm. the, the, it's the fact that they would think about doing that to someone who's, who loves their family and treats their kids like it. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's nuts. But in the in the cases like this where, you know, yo, there's proof this is happening. Do get in there. Uh, yeah. I guess I want to say that other family, uh, other members of the Frank family who all have their own large social media followings have said they were aware of the situation, but would not comment further. So. Uh, and that my, scares me, dude. <laughs> my personal opinion is screw all those people. Yeah. Well, anyway. As far as I'm aware, that's everything that I know about what's going on right now. And hey, I don't really feel any better about knowing any of that now. But, you know, now we all collectively can share in the pain of more terrible people that are on YouTube that uh, don't deserve to be, don't deserve to have any platform or even their own, even kids. To be honest, it's just disgusting. And I, I hate them. Heart goes out to the kids, man. There ain't no telling what all they've been through and how it's going to affect them. But I, I, I hope for nothing but the best. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's the end of this. Leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Let us know what you think. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. So toast my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.